psychopath. I am here to tell you about myself. First of all, you need to know that I have got two faces. These two faces may be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but we both love American Horror Story, don't we, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Mwah! Well, in addition to this, we also have many different faces. And I am here, and we are here to tell you all about them. So sit tight. I am your narcopath. As you know, I have two faces. In fact, I actually have many more than two faces. But chances are you've also learned that I have another magical ability where I can simply just vanish out of thin air. I came into your life for a reason, and I'm sure you probably want some kind of closure, which I would never give you, because I know that's what you want, and if you get your closure, then I'm going to lose. Let me tell you about me, the narcopath. I have to have power, I have to be in control, and I have to win in every single interaction I'm involved in. So. Hopefully this will help just a little. And you want closure because you experienced all these emotions and feelings and can't believe that I just zip vanished. So let's begin with, with explaining exactly who I am. I'm not like regular people. I am not what you all are considering normal. But I can't perform my craft if I advertise this, unlike one of you who may have a certain personality trait that you advertise as like something we could be proud of, I cannot tell you what I'm up to or you would never give me a second chance. So I hate you for this because I can't be myself like you are. I can't be the same person from day to day. I have to switch masks because You've got something I don't have. And the way I learned this was, if I go to the birthday card section or the anniversary card section or Mother's Day or Father's Day or any type of greeting card, I would read the different heartfelt phrases on these cards and think, I don't feel that way about my sister. I don't feel that way about my brother. I would never say that to my mother. But these words are printed. So that gave me a clue that Something else is going on out there that I'm not aware of, because I would never say that, but I get the card anyway. Well, if you've ever seen the um, Night of the Living Dead, or Return of the Living Dead especially, it kind of will clue you in on what you're dealing with, or what you were dealing with with me, the narcopath. Basically, I am empty inside. I am a hollow shell. I have nothing inside me except very primitive needs of avoiding pain and getting pleasure. And I have a few sort of emotions like hatred, envy, greed, uh, vindictiveness, but that's about it. And when I see greeting cards like those I mentioned, I get the feeling that some people must have a completely different viewpoint on relationships. So. I try to take that on as my own and try to quote certain things off cards so I will appear like everyone else because I know I'm not. I'm not that at all. Well, if you saw those Living Dead movies, you'll learn that they're basically dead bodies who have been resurrected and they're in terrible pain. They're being eaten away inside and the only way they can alleviate that pain is by eating or consuming human brains. Well, that's me. Although I'm not literally consuming your brain, I am totally manipulating it, scrambling it like an egg, and having the best time of my life doing so, giving me my supply, narcissistic supply is the, the drug of choice. So, because I have no soul, I must feed on yours. And how could I do that? Well, clearly I couldn't meet you on a first encounter and say, 
I want to consume your soul. If I did that, guess what? There wouldn't be a second encounter. So what did I do instead? Well, because you were of special interest to me, even though there were four others I was working on, you were the one that revealed early on you were a victim of abuse and didn't want to get close to anyone. So I thought, dang, I got it. That's the one. So you would talk about your abuse and how you don't want to date anyone closely. Well, I was eating that up listening to your stories about how he lied about this and lied about that, thinking, I've done that one before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I was basically watching the opposite end of uh, my life to see you, a victim, talking about your experience. Well, of course, I've done all of the things you've mentioned, but what did I do? I told you, oh, that is so terrible. How could anyone do that to you? I would never do that to you. I'm nice. I'm the one for you. And I would try to glamour you into thinking someone else knows what you're going through. In fact, I even mirrored you. I said, one of your exes cheated on you? Oh, well, all of mine did, which is a little over the top, I found out later, but that's beside the point. It worked. It got you pulled in. It made you think that I understood you. And if you had any kind of insecurities, like, oh, your eyes were too funny shaped, or your nose was too big or little, I would assure you, oh, your eyes and nose are what drew me, drew me to you, or your eyes and nose are perfect. Because unlike turning up the volume on regular interactions, because I know that you know that people don't really fall into place like this in real life so quickly, yet I fell right into your life. I liked all of your interests. I did all the things you wanted, and I gave you the illusion that you were in control of the interaction. That's a very powerful thing for me, because you thought that you held all the cards. Basically, I turned you into a puppet, because I don't feel certain emotions. I like to jar them out of you, so I pull on the string. I switch faces. I'll try one technique. If it doesn't work, well, then I'll scrap that and try another. And if you were very inquisitive and you looked at our text messages, you might see. You might actually read them now and realize that they sound like probably ten different people. Because what I was doing was trying this technique, trying that technique, and so on. And the ones that didn't work just vanished. The ones that did work, I kept on with. So... Hopefully, this lets you uh, understand just a little bit about why you were a target, because you were human. You had the brains that I wanted to scramble, and it gave me a thrill to scramble those brains, and even if you suspected this, I would tell you, honey, that's your previous person, not me.